Bienvenue à Paris, un baiser de Paris Hello everybody, uh, I'm Robin here and of course here with me is uh, Patrick. Uh, welcome to this uh, edition of uh, Trump Brothers uh, uh, Travel Safe and Travel Smart series. Uh, today our topic will actually be on the latest trends and innovations uh, in Europe that will make uh, travel more safe and also uh, more fun as well. Um, I'm sure some of you have been watching the little intro video that we have uh, had earlier and a lot of us are probably going to miss uh, those places that we saw, you know, uh, I'm sure you also saw that poll question, uh, which is the most, uh, you know, romantic city to you. Uh, we have two choices, uh, Rome and Paris, but uh, maybe before we see the results, Patrick, which one do you think is uh, the answer? Personally, if you were to ask me, I will cast my vote for Paris because I believe that, you know, in Paris, there's a lot of very beautiful sight, romantic sight, and especially during the evening, if you do have the time, you know, you can do a river cruise in Paris. And during that time, you will see what the Parisian call Paris illumination at night because the building are light up, the Eiffel Tower are being light up as well. So to me, that's more romantic than Rome. <laughs> Actually, Rome can be also be quite romantic. Uh, they have beautiful things, uh, sites like the uh, Spanish Steps, Trevi Fountain, you know, that can also be quite uh, romantic. So we are quite interested to see what uh, your choice is. Uh, uh, before the results come out, oh, actually we have the results. Wow, actually, I think your prediction was right. We have 71% of you picking Paris over Rome. Uh, are you surprised? No, right? I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Paris, I think when people think of romantic place, they will, Paris usually comes into, yes. uh, into mind. Um, all right, uh, this session today, uh, we are uh, again talking about uh, Europe, uh, yeah. how technology and all maybe interesting ways people are yes. thinking of to actually make travel safe uh, and fun. Um, if you pay attention uh, later on, we are going to talk about some interesting things and uh, we are going to have uh, two Q&A questions. Uh, we are going to pick two lucky winners each. Uh, each person can win $20 shopping voucher. So if you pay attention, uh, 
and the questions are really really simple right yeah you get a chance to win uh, the prize and uh, also don't forget to uh, like and share this uh, video you can click below and also make a comment because at the end of uh, this live uh, session we are going to pick also one lucky winner and you can also win a ten dollar uh, shopping voucher yeah uh talking about uh, uh, today's session before we go into that i think uh, both patrick and myself miss something a lot and it has a lot yes. to do with uh, this yeah yeah <laughs> so as you can see uh, we miss carrying this flag yes. uh, both uh, patrick uh, and myself we are actually tour managers and we go to europe quite a lot uh, and of course you know with uh, the current uh, covid 19 uh, situation unfortunately we are all stuck at home uh, not able to uh, to travel and all just like ourselves uh, we are also missing Europe a lot. Uh, maybe, Patrick, you would like to share with us what have you been doing uh, in the meantime? Sure. For the past few months uh, till now, I'm still working from home. So, as you know, uh, most of the time, you and I, we are both traveling to Europe. So, right now, I really miss going to the airport and I miss some of my favorite restaurants in Europe. As I am a fan of Italian food, so right now, I can't visit my favorite restaurant in Italy. So what I do is nowadays, back at home, I've been doing a lot of cooking, Italian food especially, for my family. Do they like your food actually? Yeah, they say I can open a <laughs> restaurant soon. <laughs> well, uh, actually, uh, you know, you've been doing, uh, you've been missing all this travel, you know, mm. right? But what I've been doing actually in the meantime is I've been actually keep, keeping up to date and I've been doing a lot of traveling online. Mm. Uh, here today, our topic is on, you know, technology yeah. and innovation. So actually, uh, Online, the internet has actually been a very useful resource and both uh, uh, you and myself, we have been going online to find yes. out interesting things that are happening. So uh, through YouTube channels and through various news sources, we've been able to you know travel to other parts uh, of the world without having to leave the comfort yeah. of our home. And it's also very safe. But of course, nothing beats uh, the real thing, right? right. right. Yeah. Yes. Um, when it comes to, of course, talking about technology, technology has made a lot of advances. Uh, maybe in the past, you know, you have some difficulties, right? Uh, things that we don't have to do uh, now, we had to do in the past. Maybe you'd like to share? Yes. Yeah. yeah. In the past, uh, I remember uh, I have to bring uh, such a thick uh, Michelin street directory to Europe because just in case uh, if the driver get lost, <laughs> I have to flip open the directory, you know, and both the driver and myself will have to navigate our way. And every year I need to get a new one, you know. So right now with technology like Google Map, you know, just a finger away, I'm able to locate where I'm going to travel to. It's so convenient yeah, right now. It makes so much uh, difference, you know, we, to be able to not only know where to go, but also know how the places that we are going to visit look like. I think with yeah. things like Street View, yes, we can actually yes. even see, for example, we were given, oh, this restaurant is a place that we right. need to find. Yes. In, the last, in the past, we just given the name, and then sometimes we walk past a restaurant without knowing we walk past a yeah. restaurant. But now with Street View, uh, mm. all these photos, we go, ah, this is the restaurant. And sometimes I'll get to, wow, you must have been to this place many, many times. Yes. But actually, everything was online and then we actually did our research before that yeah. that is why you know having the internet has made such a, an impact on mm -hmm. uh, travel and today also uh, yeah. these little innovations have made also are going to make things safe and also fun for everybody mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that you know in the past right devices like our yeah. mobile phone has made a lot of difference right yes 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 yeah. i do yeah mm -hmm. uh yeah so uh, speaking about technology, uh, do you know that right now, if you want to visit some places of interest in Europe, like the museum, you will need to make an online reservation. Yeah, but, before, but, but, slot, yeah, uh, but, but before we mm, get there, we need yeah, to fly there, yes, right? Yeah, all right. Of course, uh, yeah. Yeah. Before we talk about maybe visiting all these places, we would like to talk about one thing that we need to go through, and that is actually the, the airport. airport. You know, uh, whenever we go from country to country, we need to go through yes. the airports, and airports have also been coming up uh, with ways to actually make it more safe for everyone. Yeah. And let's actually look at uh, one of the airports that we go through quite a lot, and this is actually the uh, Hamad International Airport in Doha. Yeah. So uh, this uh, airport is uh, relatively new, uh, opened just a few years back. I'm sure you remember the old one, which yes. was a lot uh, smaller. smaller. They've been doing a lot of things to make it you know, more high tech. Uh, some of the technologies that we are used to and also something new like what you are seeing now and that they are actually using things like these uh, thermal screening helmets to actually detect people whether they're having a fever or not. Yeah. So instead of using those traditional screens and all that, they actually have these helmets uh, to actually, uh, you know, use to detect people, you know, whether they have high temperature. Yeah. They also have, of course, the 
detection devices to see whether people have masks. You know, wearing a mask is so yes. important. Now, of course, it's just not only the new, but the more traditional ways, right. like what you see, they also have those uh, traditional uh, thermal screens. Uh, Rabiu, what is that? All right, okay, this is something quite uh, new. They actually have this robot going around with this UV light to actually disinfect the uh, airport. I think we are quite used to seeing our uncles and aunties working hard to keep mm -hmm. our airports clean. But what they are doing in uh, Doha is actually having these uh, automated robots to go around with the UV light uh, to kill all the germs and uh, the yeah. virus. But of course, the human touch is still there, they will still have stuff going around. You know, sometimes these uh, machines cannot reach, you know, places. So of course, nothing beats uh, uh, the human touch. So they are actually marrying both the old and the new to actually keep the airport safe uh, for all of us. That is uh, that is something that, uh, you know, I think rest assured that like, when we are traveling from place to place, uh, you know, sanitization, all that is going to be very important. And all the airports, uh, whether it's in Doha, whether it's in our Changi Airport and all that, uh, the various governments are actually uh, going to take steps to ensure that uh, the airports are safe and cheap right, for all of us. Yeah. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, you know, to visit places of interest like museum, we need to make online fan slot. Uh. So shall we play a video for the audience? Okay, so this is one of my favorite museum known as the Louvre Museum. Louvre Museum is one of the largest museum in the world and it is also a historic monument in Paris. In the year 2019, estimated uh, 9.6 million people visited the museum and the museum has since reopened since the 6th of July. Okay, uh, there's so many people who visit uh, this uh, Louvre Museum, but I'm sure there is a reason why this museum is so popular. Yes, because famous artwork include the Venus de Milo, okay, the Wind Victory, and not to forget the famous Mona Lisa. Okay, of course, the Mona Lisa is something everybody knows. Mm. Uh, whenever we take tour groups to the Louvre, uh, the one thing they ask, so they don't ask us about anything else, they ask you, where is the Mona Lisa? And of course, uh, at the museum nowadays, they actually have signs pointing to you, uh, to this very mm. famous painting. Everybody, you know, it's so famous, uh, you know, but for such a, you know, a famous, uh, you know, mm. art piece, all right, how can the museum actually make it safe for us to oh, actually view? Yeah, so can you imagine with so many visitors uh, to the museum, okay, safety is definitely a huge issue. So right now, places of interest like the museum, mm -hmm. they need the visitor to make online reservation. Okay? Of course, at Chan Brothers Travel, in order to make sure our passenger has an enjoyable time at the museum and also to ensure safe distancing, we do provide whisper set for our passenger when they visit the museum. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering what whisper sets are. And uh, this is actually a very common question we have when people come to book our tours. They see this term, they say whisperer tour. It's not that our guides talk very softly to you, but actually we're using these devices called uh, whisper sets. Uh, like, uh, okay, like the let's have a have. look at that. Uh. Okay, so for example, the one I'm holding is used by the local guide. So with the transmitter, I'm able to give information to my tourists, like to Rabiu. Hey, Rabiu, that's not, not the right way. Huh? <laughs> yeah, of course, this is not the right way. We actually have uh, these uh, earpieces. And one good thing about the earpieces that we have here, uh, they are disposable. So again, uh, it's for your own use. And after every trip, you will replace with a new one. So um, these are very easy to use devices. Uh, on off button lock soft everything is quite simple but i think it's such a simple device but uh, it's something that is so useful and especially in this age of yeah. where safe distancing yes. is uh, important yeah. this has become a lot more relevant um when guides talk uh, through the device yeah. one good thing is not only in a crowded place are we able to listen to our guide but we can also do it at a distance because these things can receive quite far and definitely more than one or two meters away we can stand up to maybe 10 20 30 meters away from our guide and still be able to uh, listen to our guide talk without having uh, yeah, been so because close uh, in the past uh, imagine okay our customer always has some concern yeah. when joining a group tour so they'll say if i want to listen to commentary by the guide i must stay very near to the guide but if I stay near to the guy, I can't take nice picture. Then, if I were to go and take nice picture, I cannot listen to commentary from the guy. So with this whisper set, it's now so convenient both for the guy and for the passenger. Yeah, it really indeed, such a simple device. And again, set is uh, really relevant in this time where we need to actually maintain uh, distancing from each other. Uh, so this is something that we will continue to have on many of our Europe tours. So rest assured that uh, this will be, I think, getting more and more common. Uh, we will yeah, be seeing more of this right. uh, whisper sets on our tours. Uh, 
other than you know the museums and uh, all that uh, what are the other places that need the reservation yeah. so right now uh, okay, other than the museum okay places of interest that you need to make reservation mm -hmm. okay in europe restaurant so right now there are many restaurants in europe that do require their customer to make an online reservation okay so that are uh, very important for the tourists is if you would like to visit some of the restaurant that you want to patronize please go online to check whether the restaurant has that requirement yeah. ah. so of course also one of the main issue in europe is people yeah. are worried yeah. about you know clean hygiene Correct. sanitizing so one thing is rest assured ah, right now when you travel to anywhere in europe you will be able to find sanitizer at any point of entry yeah. so of course in case uh, if your sanitizer <laughs> run low not to worry because at charm this travel we do provide our care kit and let me show you what we have for our care kit uh. okay number one we have our sanitizer okay. Has some review. <laughs> ah, okay so while Ravi is cleaning his hand <laughs> let me show you we do have face mask this is very important because right now anywhere you go you are required to put on a face mask yeah. and of course not to forget we have the wipes for you as well lah. so not to worry okay you are all being covered here okay we take good care of you and you are safe yes of course uh, you know sanit <laughs> yeah, sanitization is going to be yeah. important so we have actually these little uh, things prepared to actually make uh, you know access to all these uh, things that you will need uh, quite quite easy all these care kits um we're talking about a lot of these regulations mm. and all that do you know that in Singapore we have to maintain one meter apart, right? Yeah. But actually in Europe, the distance is actually much longer. Mm. They need like 1.5 to 2 meters. So that kind of distance is going to be quite challenging. Mm. So we've actually been you know, looking online to see how, what are the creative ways that people have come up with yeah. to you know maintain a kind of safe distancing because you know uh, maybe because they're larger size and us that's why yeah. they need to have further distance. But really 1.5 to 2 meters that's much more than what we are sitting now. Uh, so right. they've actually kept this interesting, one of the interesting yeah. things that we found yes. is at the restaurant. Yeah. Like so right now uh, in Europe, the restaurant are getting very innovative. Yeah, right? how, how innovative okay. Let me share, share with you. For example, in Germany, there is a cafe restaurant called Cafe Roof. So what the restaurant did was, they got all their customer to wear straw hat with pool noodle, okay? So it's certainly a good opportunity to enjoy your coffee, having your food, okay, and having fun, snapping your fashionable pool noodle cap for your gram. Yeah, <laughs> of course, yeah, <laughs> posting all these things on Instagram is quite fun, but I think to give you an idea yeah. of what we're talking about, uh, we actually have a demo set. Yes. Okay, you can see down here. Ah, okay. okay. There's a pool noodle cap. Okay, like this is not really a one meter and all the European one, of course, is much longer. Uh, but the, this uh, size, we yeah, uh, we're still at a, a good distance. So imagine, of course, this is not the one meter. Uh, but uh, this is just to give you an idea of what they are doing down there. So you can imagine, I think some of them even have it uh, like a cross. Yes, yeah, yes, it's not yes, just yes. Uh, one yeah. way, but it's actually yes. all around. So this is actually how they, you know, they demarcate the area, your sitting space. So customers are sitting with their own heads and then using this. Right. Okay, if you, if you are hitting the uh, next partner, you know that you're actually sitting. <laughs> yeah, too, so try to move away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is like the, the, the full noodle head uh, that we have down there. So really, they have been coming up with not only, uh, you know, uh, innovate, the innovative way, but they also try to make it fun. Yes. Yeah. So uh, in addition to maybe uh, this idea, I think uh, there is something in, I think, Amsterdam that yes. they are doing to also make it unique as well. Yeah. So maybe yes. so let me show you a video clip on that. Okay, this is restaurant Mediamatic Eaton in Amsterdam. So the restaurant has built individual glass house to ensure safe distancing. So each glass house allowed two to three diner at a time. Indeed, a unique and romantic experience for all. Uh. You can see the waiter and waitress carrying long wooden board okay, to serve their diner to ensure safe distancing. The waiter and waitress also put on face shield and are wearing gloves to serve the diner. So you can imagine with the scenery and canal nearby, it is definitely interesting to be dining over there, but very important. Always remember to go online to check on the website. Okay? If you would like to visit that restaurant, if there's a requirement, make an online reservation. Other than that, if you were to walk into the restaurant, 
the restaurant may not want to serve you. Correct. Uh, yeah. Well, wow, quite interesting, uh, and uh, the quite romantic. You mm. see them in their own individual glass houses. Yes. So with your loved one, you can be in your own your own yes. glass house, and the people you don't like, you put them in the other one. Right. right? Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, we are talking about all this romantic thing. I it just occurred to me that later on, actually, I'm going to be catching a movie. Right. Ah, okay. As you know, ah, uh, in Singapore, they have recently opened up the cinema. Yeah. Okay. And of course. One of the major concern people are having safe distancing again. Yeah. Right? So right now in Paris, they came up with something very interesting. I'm not wearing this, right? Uh, no, okay, not okay, wearing yeah, this. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> recently, Paris, they have launched a floating cinema right, with 38 socially tilted electric boat yeah. facing the screen mm -hmm. titled Cinema on the Water. This special event actually mark the inauguration of Paris Summer, a okay, program that offer outdoor sport and leisure activity on the bank of the Seine River and the Basin de la Vallée. So the Parisian, they like to walk along the riverbank or even take a river cruise along the Seine River, as it's one of the most romantic river in Paris. Yeah, that's why. Then, yeah. of course, you can imagine that uh, with all the places of interest and restaurant getting innovative, same apply to the cinema as well. Correct. Uh, and uh, no wonder mm. people chose Paris as the most uh, romantic city yeah. just now in the world. Yes. That's something that we all expected. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why, because you know the river itself is uh, so romantic. Uh, so we have been talking about this like innovative and fun ways. Uh, yeah. We have talked about the, the, this uh, the care. The care. Yeah, we have talked about the glass house and we've talked about uh, you know, the cinema. cinema. Yeah, basically, we are, this is like hints uh, because we actually have our first Q&A. Yeah. So if you have been paying attention, uh, don't forget you have the chance to, uh, we're going to pick two winners. Each of you will have a chance to win $20 uh, shopping voucher. Yes. And we're going to give you one minute uh, to actually answer the question. Right. So this question, it's very easy. So all you need to do is name any of the creative safe distancing innovation that we have uh, discussed so far uh, in this session. So uh, you have one minute. So I'm going to start the timer here. Uh. You can see hey, all right. Time start now. The time starts now. So one minute. So uh, during this minute, you all can think, uh, but actually don't need to think too much because the answer is very obvious. Yeah, let's give them some clue. Uh. <laughs> the one that you just put on earlier on. Yeah, this one. Then the unique structure <laughs> that's romantic and unique and of course you are doing something later on after this <laughs> yeah of course uh, we are talking about one good thing about safe distancing mm -hmm. no one problem we have with europe what is that yes pickpocket pick pocket. now we have to be so far apart from everyone i do not know how those pickpockets are going to pick people's pocket yeah because they have to maintain <laughs> one around 1.5 to meet two meter away from you so if the pickpocket are able to pick your pocket i think they deserve it, right? They deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> of course, we are just kidding. Uh. So I think social distancing also has some use. Uh. Everybody yes. has to be. Uh. Right. Okay, you have about uh, 10 seconds and uh, we're going to do the, the countdown you can see over here. Yep. So just 10 more seconds for you okay. to you submit your answer. The answer. Yeah. We will pick two lucky winners, uh, $20 voucher each. And in the meantime, don't also forget to like and share this uh, live video and uh, put your comments down there. All right. Okay, we are done. So. All right, We've, since we are yeah. like, so, yeah. okay. okay, so the result will be out very soon. Uh, but yeah. of course, the you know the clue we have given is almost leading to the answer, yeah. and it's very easy, mm -hmm. uh. Okay, uh, we have our first uh, winner, and that first winner is uh, Jojo Cole. Congratulations, Congratulations Jojo. Jojo. Yeah. So we are waiting for the, for the second, second winner. winner. <laughs> so uh, you see, with technology, everything become very easy uh, and convenient for us right, nowadays. Right. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we are waiting for the second, second one. Don't winner. forget, uh, we will contact uh, the winners uh, shortly. Yes. So don't worry, we'll tell you how to get this. And okay, our second, second winner, winner is Jeff Chiu. So congratulations, congratulations to Jojo Jeff. and Jeff. Yeah. Uh, both of you are the lucky winners of our first Q&A. Yeah. We're going to have another one uh, coming uh, shortly. So uh, just now we were talking about mm. some of the restaurants and a lot of things are going to change. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I think we are going to expect to change are that uh, maybe buffet is no longer going oh, to be yeah. featured. Yeah. Yes, because right uh, in the past, when we travel to Europe, okay, we always have that, you know, buffet, some like restaurant at buffet, okay? But right now with the current situation, okay, for safety wise, yeah. okay, no more buffet where you used to take the things that you want yeah. yourself. So right now for those buffet restaurants in Europe, many of them are converting to a la carte buffet. 
That means there's some restriction. Mm -hmm. For example, if you want to visit that buffet restaurant for a la carte buffet, they will have a time slot for the visitor. For example, one and a half hours to two hours, then you order whatever you want. Then when the time is up, okay, all the guests will have to vacate the restaurant and the crew will have to clean up the area and the second batch of visitors will enter the restaurant again for their a la carte buffet. So that is how they work. Uh, right I think now. it's going to be so many mm. changes down there. And I know those people in Paris like to sit many, many hours in the cafe. Yes, yes. Uh, I think when it comes to buffet, I think one thing that people are also going to be wondering because many of our hotel breakfasts are buffet style. Yeah. So I think there are going to be some changes there as yes. well, right? Correct. So right now in the hotel, they come out with ways of having their breakfast. Some hotel, will allow a certain number of the guests to go in at certain timing for the breakfast, but as usual, no more buffet, yeah. they will serve them American breakfast or whatever. Yeah. Then some of the hotel, they are worried that, you know, uh, I'm scared that the guests, they wake up very early, they're hungry. So what they do is they prepare breakfast boxes, okay, in the restaurant area. So any guests who are hungry, they can just go there, pick up their breakfast boxes, or if not, they can even make arrangement with the hotel one day before for the breakfast boxes to be sent to their room. I think the, uh, the hotels are also coming up with a lot of ways to uh, minimize face-to-face -face contact yes. and to also allow, you know, safe distancing and all that. Right. So they're all always thinking of new ways to you know make things actually more convenient and yes. safe for everyone. Um, talking about hotels, I'm sure you you have something to share. I think recently you were telling me about this hotel, I think in Amsterdam. Yeah. They're doing a, something quite interesting there to make not only safe, but also fun. Maybe you can share with yes. us. Shall we show a video to the audience? Okay, so this is the famous Sovertel legend, the Grand Hotel in Amsterdam. So as you can see, uh, hotels are also trying to get innovative. Uh. Yeah. So the hotel has turned their historic courtyard into a beach. And of course, everyone are dressed in their summer or beach wear. They have incorporated the safe distancing of 1.5 meter for their sitting. With a bar and DJ spinning some summer music. As you know, uh, Amsterdam is also known as the Venice of the North. So anywhere uh, you travel in Amsterdam, you will be able to see canal. So imagine from the hotel point of view, they convert uh, the courtyard into the beach. So a short distance away, you will be able to see the canal, which is like a beach front, you know? So with all this being arranged, uh, the hotel will arrange entertainment. For example, in the video, you can see they arrange for model doing catwalk, in their beginning okay then guests can order all kind of seafood available for the day there is also a bar area where they can order their summer cocktail and in the video you can see uh, all the hotel guests are having a lot of fun with a lot of entertainment arranged by the hotel i think uh, during these challenging times we have tried to come up with a lot of uh, ways to you know change the environment we cannot go to the beach so easily we cannot go to yeah. different places so instead of going to the beach they bring the beach to you down yes. there uh one thing i also remember about the canals in uh, amsterdam is that you can also tap out food yeah, there, yeah. right yeah. because during the circuit breaker okay we have all the tap out services but first right now in amsterdam what the visitor can do is they can get onto the boat they can order food on yeah. board the boat consume on board the boat while doing a canal cruise and of course with safe distancing measure implement as well correct I, I think they really come up with all these interesting yeah. ways mm. um talking about hotels and all that mm. uh, we've also talked about how we are using technology that we already have yeah. uh, uh the devices and uh, you know uh yes. like our phone and tablets so uh, i think uh, recently hotels have also been adapting to that and they're becoming uh innovative in ways of maybe doing check-ins and all that yes. right because right now a hotel uh, they are trying to have like co contactless Okay. So number one, okay, right now they come up with the apps. For example, I'm holding onto the phone now. Yeah. So as a guest of the hotel, what I do is I make my reservation, whether through a travel agency or through online reservation, mm -hmm. I make my payment. So what the hotel will do is they will send me an app. Okay. So on the day when I reach the hotel, as usual, temperature screening, all this, yeah. then with my apps, okay, what I will do is I will just, you know, with my finger, I'll inform the front desk that I have arrived at the hotel. I'm going to do the check-in. Mm. So what they will do is they will send me an information that, okay, this is your room. So with the mobile apps, I go to my room, 
And with the apps, I'm able to open the door and enter into my hotel oh, room. Mobile key, right? Yes. Wow, quite good. So, uh, you know, in the room as usual, uh, that the telephone in case you need information, you can call to the front desk. Other than that, some of the hotel, they even have tablets, you know, where they can do, okay, online, you know, for example, they can use a tablet to control the room facility. They can even order room service paid with their credit card. And of course, the next day, when the guests want to check out, what they will do is, as usual, send the information to the front desk and the guests will leave the hotel. So what the front desk will do is, they will transfer this information to the housekeeping, mm -hmm. which will in turn go and clean up the room, you know, for the next guest to stay later on. So this is how convenient it is. I mean, simple things mm -hmm. like our devices and all that, they are already there. All they need to do mm -hmm. is to come up with the apps to actually uh, make things easier, to actually uh, help to minimize the need yeah. to actually do face-to-face -face contact. So everything like from check-in, we don't even need to see the reception. We don't need to go there to make payment. Everything is done through yes. the uh, app on our phone. Right. So much you know, more convenient uh, in the past. And again, it's uh, safe for everybody. All right, uh, now... Uh, okay, so uh, you know, uh, Rabiu, yeah. right now, uh, to disinfect the street, uh, the Spanish government uh, uh. are getting very innovative. Okay. So for example, Spain uses agriculture drone uh, to disinfect the street mm. and they're the first country to do so so let me play you a video clip okay so you can see uh, from this video clip uh, the professional uh, are preparing the drone and each of these drone uh, can take up to 16 liter of disinfectant and they cover more ground and speed up 50 times than the usual traditional method as you can imagine with 16 liters of disinfectant, they can cover up to 100,000 square meters. Wow, that's actually quite a large area to, to cover. Uh, in Singapore, mm -hmm. uh, we have our poor uncle auntie doing all those cleaning and all that. Uh, but wow, down there in Spain, they're actually using uh, these drones to actually go around, you know, to disinfect the streets. Yes. Because Spain is, of course, much bigger than uh, mm -hmm. in Singapore. But one thing I'm wondering is, you know, these drones are actually going around, but how do they know where to go? Okay, this drone uh, is operated by the professional personnel from the Spanish Military Emergency Unit. Okay, so there's an optimized flight route okay, for them to fly the drone, okay, and of course to increase their efficiency and also to facilitate recording of the flight route as well. So they and, know where they come. Yeah, yeah, then of course, you know, uh, mm. in Singapore, during the circuit breaker, the Singapore Police Force also used drone uh, to survey industrial estates are uh, all over Singapore as well. Uh, such a simple, again, this is a very uh, simple device, yeah. something that we already mm. know and already have. Yeah. Uh, so when we're using all these drones, uh, it's not, mm. I think, uh, if I am if I remember correctly, I think in the early days of the, this uh, COVID uh, mm. situation, I think Spain was one of the first countries to be uh, hit. Yeah. And uh, one way to actually control people in the in the cities, mm. the crowd down there, they actually also use the drones to go yes. around with messaging to tell them to keep apart. Yes. So these drones are not only just used for disinfecting, they are yeah. also used to you know, uh, send a uh, safe distancing message to the people to remind, oh, you are standing too close to one another. Right. Of course, they, it's in Spanish, uh, not in English. Uh, yeah. But they actually do that down there. So, uh, and really, also right now, uh, there are many countries uh, all over the world, although Spain is the first country so-called yeah. to be using the drone. Yeah. But right now, uh, because of this COVID situation, many of these countries are using all these drones as well Correct. to disinfect uh, or to send messages just to make sure that everyone are safe they have their safe distancing as well yeah okay uh, i think uh, we are coming to our second question now mm. uh, we are talking we've talked about you know what already so yes. this second question is related to what we have been talking about it's very simple mm. all you need to do is to uh, name the gadget that is used to effectively disinfect large public spaces in spain and again uh, yeah, one, I mean, minute, one minute one uh, minute again i will do the the countdown from the clock down here mm -hmm. you have one minute to to give the answer and i, I think we repeat that word many many times already yes it is please. not it's not the mobile phone it is not the tablet it's something else something that fly yeah, something that fly is still it, it is not the whisper set all right <laughs> yeah. so uh it's this device that is actually uh, this gadget that uh, is used to actually cover uh, large uh, areas mm -hmm. so this is something that uh, 
I think we also see quite often. Yeah. Sometimes even our passengers will, you know, yes, bring yes, on, the, yes. on yeah, tour. They do that. Yeah. yeah. So this device is actually quite uh, useful, uh, not only for disinfecting, right. but again, uh, to send uh, a message out. All right. You still have about uh, 20, 20 seconds, 20 seconds yeah. uh, mm. for you to come up with the answer. Don't forget, you, uh, you, there will be two winners. Uh, each yeah. of you can win a $20 shopping voucher uh, if you get the answer mm. correct. So we're going to count down already or oh, less than 10 seconds okay. left. You can see the counter and the timer going yeah. and then once it stops you will see me on the screen there yeah this is okay all okay, right hands up, hands up. Okay, okay while waiting uh, well, for the answer uh, yeah the two winner to be out uh, don't forget to like and share yes this is uh, a live video session by clicking below and also comment we will have a, a lucky winner later yeah, on. i think we have the first winner okay saying yeah, yeah you are the congratulations yeah, because you got the answer which is the drone all right, yes, the yeah. drone. and I think we are going to have another winner shortly. And the answer is still the same, same the drone. The drone. <laughs> Let's see who is the other lucky winner. Our our uh, colleagues here are actually busy uh, yeah. Yeah, trying to find uh, a lucky winner. The result. Yeah. And uh, we'll yeah. contact you, uh, tell you how you can actually receive the voucher. Yes. Don't worry, we're not going to send the voucher to you by drone. <laughs> all right okay janet so you are the lucky congratulations, winner congratulations to winner. janet and uh, sing kit yao uh, our colleagues will contact you uh, shortly to tell you how you are actually going to uh, pick up uh, these uh, shopping vouchers so um we have been talking a lot about uh, you know all the you know the various places and all that and uh, i think one of the places that you miss going is yes. the yeah so rabiu i was thinking uh, when the border reopened uh -huh. okay, you know i may want to visit some beaches in Europe. Yeah. So do you have any beaches to recommend to me? Okay, uh, <laughs> right now is actually the summer summer season in, yeah. uh, in Europe. Uh, it's a really hot time and this is actually the time when the Europeans are actually going to the beach. Uh, yeah. Going to the beach is of course a, a, a thing that they are doing, a lot of people are doing now. In mm -hmm. the past, a lot, so many people are going there, of course the beach can be quite packed. Yeah. So yes. the beaches have also been coming up with ways to keep it uh, safe for yeah. all and I think um, one of the beaches or one of the more popular beaches are the ones in Greece. Let's uh, see what they're doing in Greece in this little video and sure. I can explain to you what they're sure. doing there. All right, uh, as I said, the Greeks are returning to the beach now. It is summer. Uh, it's 40 degrees. I think sometimes can mm. be even be higher than 40 mm. degrees, sometimes even closer to 50. Right. So it's so hot, people like to get into the water. Mm. But even in the water, they recommend for safe people, distance. yeah, safe distancing. And uh, for people going to the beach who cannot uh, we don't forget about you know the beach umbrellas. Yeah. So the beach umbrellas are all spaced out uh, about four meters apart to keep people uh, you know ah, a safety safe. distance. Uh, the they actually secure the the chair so that people cannot easily mm. move them, yeah. and they also regularly uh, sanitize. Yeah. So the days are long in summer, uh, much much longer. The sun rises very early in the morning, mm. and it doesn't set till maybe after nine, right. ten, or mm. even eleven o'clock. And because the days are so long, people spend a long time at the beach, so they actually right. put in more effort and to make it clean uh, mm. regularly um a lot of people are going there so they also do limit the number of people going to the beaches they try to within uh, like a hundred uh, 1000 square meters they limit it to ah. 40 people and if they don't adhere to this number they actually impose quite hefty fines between five to twenty thousand euros wow, so they actually are yeah, putting they take it quite seriously because like i said this is the summer month people mm. are going to the right. beach they must make it you know they know that people want to go mm. so but they also know that they need to make it safe right. uh, for yes. everyone so you can see that yeah really i really miss yeah. the going uh, to uh, Rabiu, at this <laughs> moment uh, you and i were not able to visit the beaches in greece and we are not able to go to the street in spain uh. yeah. and i saw from the video uh, they were this effect disinfecting the sunbed yeah and i also heard uh, the coach company uh, are doing a lot uh, to the coaches as well correct because mm. coaches are something that we will need to also you know get from point to point in europe mm. so it's very important that the coaches are also kept clean so yeah. maybe we can watch the video yeah, and see let's what watch the video doing. yeah yeah so uh you know uh during uh the past uh, the coach driver they only clean the coach uh, at the end of the day correct okay but right now okay during this covid 19 situation and to us safety is always a top priority so nowadays the driver has to disinfect the coaches two to three times a day including the coach compartment and the coach company are also providing sanitizer for the usage of the passenger as well. So you know the coach company, they are also doing all this. Lah. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. So actually, all these things are preemptive measures. Uh, yeah. We don't really know what is coming ahead. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of things are still unknown, like when we are going to go back into you know to travel and all that. Right. So all of you, I, I can see that you are all very eager and excited. In fact, we have a lot of our former customers coming to us and say, yes. oh, when are we going on tour again? Right. When are we starting to sell tour? <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have the answer right now, but we do know that we are doing our best to actually find ways to, uh, you know, to preempt uh, yes. because we are foreseeing things like safe distancing, uh, yes. how to be, uh, you know, to maintain uh, sanitization and right. all that. So things like cleanliness, hygiene, yes. and safe distancing. These are the key things that we are looking at. Uh, how we're going to. Uh, maintain uh, less contact right. with people, yes. which is right. a bit unusual when we talk about group tours because mm. group tours we always well, a lot of people in Correct. the past. Right? Yes. So we are coming up with interesting yeah. ways, possible things yeah. like maybe alternative seating on the on mm. the on the coaches. We don't know yet, but uh, over the next few months, as we have a better picture of what's going to come ahead, uh, we are going to tell you more and right. more because this is not our last session on yeah. online. Mm. We will have more things coming up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. Maybe coming. right now, if we we can take in maybe a question or two from the audience. Yeah, I think some of you uh, are quite excited about what is going to happen, and maybe you have uh, some questions for us. Uh, we'll we'll give you some time uh, while we yeah. talk some more. Right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's why I think right now because with this social distancing, uh, yeah. so rest assured, even for the group tour in the future, yeah. okay, we will always put the family to be seated together, like like in the past as well. Right. Uh, but that is always one thing, you know, when family travel on holiday, they say, I want to be seated with my family members, you know. Yeah. So with all this safe distancing, we also make sure family are seated together as well. Like. Yeah, and then also uh, safely apart as well. So families are together. And of course, those who are not in the same family, mm -hmm. we will of course put you in right. uh, you know seats further away yes. whether it's in the coach or in the restaurant yeah. uh, mm -hmm. but again like i said we still do not know what is going to happen right. a lot of <laughs> things yeah maybe next time the coach must be a hundred seater then we can space everybody apart yes. you know, things like that of course yeah. we're just kidding here but uh, things will will change uh in the in the months to come or maybe yeah. hopefully it's just in the months to come uh, all of us are so eager to get back <laughs> yes. uh, to work i uh, still see some of you trying to yeah. have question uh, okay, never mind. Okay. So uh, anyway, uh, right now with all this technology going on, uh, so everything has been so convenient. Okay, so we have the first question. Uh, okay. What is Spain well known for? Oh, okay, from uh, Amy who came up with this question, what is Spain? Okay, Spain is one of my favorite countries. Mm. Uh, a lot of people associate things like you know bullfighting, yeah. you know, beautiful architecture, and all that. Mm. And yes, Spain is uh, one of the countries that I miss. A lot of people ask me what's so good about Spain. I think mm. Spain combines a lot of something for everybody. Yeah. For those of you who like to see uh, modern architecture, they have that. Yes. You know, things like Gaudi, and of course, when you go to yeah. Valencia, they have, uh, you know, the modern uh, the city of arts and sciences over there. But they also have rich uh, Moorish heritage. When you go down south uh, to Granada, you see all the Muslim architecture mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. They also have different types of cuisine that many of you are familiar with, like the paella, tapas, yeah. and all that. So really, Spain uh, is something that has something for, for everyone. Uh, it's of yeah, maybe we can. Okay, a... so Rabiu, we have another question. When is the best time to visit Greece? Yeah, I think you all saw that the uh, Greece uh, video just now. So a lot of a lot of times people ask me when is the time to visit Greece. Yes. Uh, Greece is uh, well known for the islands, uh, but these islands are also seasonal destinations. So they only sort of open during the months mm. uh, between uh, April to. October, and that is when a lot of people visit the islands. Right. Um, during the months of July and August, mm. these are the hottest months. And because Singaporeans don't really like mm. hot weather, so my the time that I usually recommend to people to go to Greece will be actually uh, either in April or May, or maybe in October, which is just before and after that really peak period where the beaches are very crowded, the sites yeah. are packed, and also the temperature is very hot. So when you're going just before the season starts and the season ends, we actually have, uh, you know, uh, right. it's actually the best time to go. Yes. Uh, because Singaporeans like it yeah. to be slightly cooler mm -hmm. and all that. All right. Uh, are we coming close? Or yeah, we can so are. Uh, Oh, I think maybe we have. Uh, we maybe have another question. another question. Well, a lot of you, I can see, yeah. who are typing, typing ahead yes. and all that. Yeah, all planning where to go, you know, what to look out <laughs> for. <laughs> That's really, really. Uh, we just cannot wait to use our flag right. again. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Soon, 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 we'll be using that again. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, when is the best time to see tulips? Uh, maybe okay. you like to share. Best time for tulips yeah. is definitely in spring season, yeah. especially in Amsterdam. Yeah. 
between late March to middle of May, if you have to travel to Amsterdam, you can visit the Kuchenhof Garden and you can see a lot of tulips and other flowers as well. Uh -huh. One of the must visit uh, during the spring season uh, in Europe. All right, uh, I think we are coming close uh, to the end of our session. We're going to miss all of you as much as you miss, uh, you know, Europe <laughs> and traveling and all that. Uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. But I think it is uh, about also being a big patient. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of things we do not exactly know what is going to come ahead. A lot of things are preemptive and we are yeah. actually trying to think of ways that, you know, we're going to look at some of the potential right. problems that we're going to face. So mm -hmm. we're going to take care of things like, of course, sanitization, yeah. safe yeah. distancing yeah. and all that. So even things that we took for granted like going to the airport the processes are likely to be a lot longer you know going to the airport is not going to be right. you know last time we can go last minute you know yes. you know uh, those staying at Tampines and uh, uh, like to go to the airport maybe 10 <laughs> minutes before check-in all right uh, now, I think we don't have that luxury now we we need to be at probably at the airport earlier because a lot more screening has to be done in the past so uh, these are some of the things that we are expecting to come ahead but uh, Again, we look forward to seeing you in our, you know, uh, future session of uh, this uh, Travel Safe and Travel Smart series. Uh, today, we talked a lot about, of course, Europe and all that and uh, us being Europe tour yeah. managers. We also look forward to seeing you on our tour soon. Yes. So thank you again for uh, joining us yep. this and evening thank and we look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, right? Thank you. Look forward to traveling you, you to Europe again. Huh? Thank, yeah, you. Course, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.